Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we are back in the sky base. Now I've got a lot of things to show you guys here today. I've built a good portion of the sky base, or at least I've added a good portion of it. And I have a lot of viewer submissions to check out here today. Now if you're not familiar with the sky base, I'm going to flash the first episode up in the top right corner. Go check that out and then come back here and check out the new additions to the sky base that we've added here today. Okay, so we are at the base of the sky base. Uh, that kind of rhymes. I think I'm going to say that every time I do an episode because I'm going to start down here. Uh, we're going to head up in the elevator. Now, I still am taking viewer submissions for the sky base. As you know, this is a community project. So if you want to send anything, I will flash my email up on screen. Or you can join the Discord and send it over in the viewer creations channel. I do appreciate all the viewer submissions that have already come through. I'm going to try to go over as many of those here today as possible towards the end of the episode. Uh, but we're going to go up the elevator here and check out what I've added to the base first. Alright, here we go. We are at the sky base. Let's go ahead and call the bridge down here. And here we are. We're at Sky City. And as you can see, we now have a flickering light. This is something that I talked about doing the last episode. I do want to thank Mr. Wiz. Uh, he did a little bit of building with me here in the last uh, time I was actually trying to get a big portion of this knocked out. And uh, he set up the logic there to make the little Y flicker. I think it adds a nice little touch to the base. So anyways, uh, we're not going to go over this area in here. We've already done all of this. I just need to hit this switch here to let us into the new area. Now over here to the right, I did somewhat go over this, but I've kind of fleshed it out a little bit more. It's not 100% done. But this is called the Sky Dock over here. And this is going to be where we're going to have some of the smaller ships uh, be able to dock to the station and go into the Welcome Center first. So I've got a couple small docks. I actually have a uh, viewer submission that was sent to me that is perfect size for these little docks. I uh, will check that out here in a minute. And this is a little bit bigger dock for a bigger ship. Now I'm going to need a massive one, but there just wasn't enough room over here because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get some big ships. So I'm still trying to figure out what, what I'm going to do with that. So if you guys have any suggestions for locations, uh, let me know there. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the new area. I did add a little bit of detail to uh, this spot here. It's kind of like a spot where you would check in your ship. Uh, we got some ship parts here too. You got a little merchant that would be set up under here. I used uh, the neon pipe up here and left it orange. This actually looks pretty cool and it's really fitting uh, to the whole theme here. Now, if you're not familiar with the sky base, the theme is kind of a apocalyptic. I wouldn't say necessarily like steampunk. I know Scrapman's doing a steampunk base, but this is morally close to like a Fallout style base. So anyway, let's go and turn those off real quick, and we're gonna walk into the new section. This is where we left off uh, last episode. Uh, this ended right here. So obviously, you can see quite a bit has been added to the base. Uh, let's go and shut this. I don't know why I shut doors behind myself. It's a bad habit. I do it in real life too. I'm not really sure why though. So we're going to walk in here. Now when you get into most cities, especially in like Fallout or any games like that, the first thing you really run into is almost like a central marketplace. And that's what we have here today folks. This came out a lot better than expected. Still going to be doing a, a little bit more adding to it, but I think for what we've gotten so far, this is actually really cool looking. So, where to start here in the marketplace? Well, probably the first thing you're seeing is the bar. We have a bar in the marketplace. You can come up here, take a load off from doing all your post-apocalyptic things like raiding or looting, whatever you're going to be doing. There's probably a couple things I can't mention. And you can come up here and have some scrap brew. I believe that's what that's called. It's actually one of the parts, uh, I believe, in the Lord Payne mod. I've been using quite a few of the Lord Payne and Durf mods for this build, so that's one of them there. So yeah, you got a little bar area up here. You got a nice neon light, a uh, little sign here. Uh, maybe I should use the letter mods and write maybe bar, or maybe we can name the bar. I'm not really sure. I'm not good at naming stuff. That's why I get you guys all the time to name stuff for me. So anyways, we've got a bar here. Uh, this is really cluttered. It's a marketplace. A lot of shipments are coming in and out. So we've got some merchants set up. We've got a nice shoe salesman right here. Got all the nice different apparel that you would wear in the post-apocalyptic world. Uh, over here, this is a junk shop. Obviously, we've got this. Uh, we've got this new piece here, and I'm actually kind of. Uh, I don't know. I was a little confused at first when I saw the announcement. If you didn't catch it. The same people will make Scrap Mechanic are making the uh, the game Raft. Uh, we actually did a couple episodes on that game. 
Uh, they're going to publish it on Steam next year. So we got this neat little shark part. And it kind of looks like, uh, I guess you could say like a junk piece. So I did stick it back here. Uh, you've got all sorts of junk here in the background, selling all the post-apocalyptic goods. Uh, over here, this is kind of the same thing. Uh, morally, this is for your vehicles. It's kind of another vehicle shop. I know we had another merchant over there similar to this, but it's not to say that there isn't a little bit of healthy competition here in Sky City between merchants, so you might get a better deal over here. So let's go ahead and walk over here. We'll go out on these uh, platforms here in a second that you see where the Do Not Enter on. Uh, we'll walk out on those here in just a moment. As you can see, oh yeah, this is uh, this is how we uh, protect people here in Sky City. If there's a hole in the ground or the floor, uh, we just stick a cone there. Just walk around it. It's gonna be the, it's gonna be a good idea. So over here, this is something uh, Mr. Wiz made. Uh, we've got a little vending machine. Say you don't want to go to one of our fantastic merchants and get ripped off. You can go in here and get ripped off by the machine. So you open it up, it's got some goods in there, probably some drinks. Uh, I don't know if, I would guess maybe we do have some power up here, so it's probably actually cool. So you've got that over here. Uh, as you can see, we're trying to patch up some of Sky City. We're kind of, I don't know, I'd say we're eroding away. We're rotting out a lot of the walls and buildings. So we're doing a little bit of patchwork over here. So this is the bottom part of the market. Now I will have a second set of stairs that are going to go under this and probably go outward. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to do that yet. I wanted to try to finish some of the market stuff up here. So, if you look back here, we've got a second deck to the market. You do see a hotel up there. Uh, I've got a full, well, I call it a full hotel. It's really only two rooms. So, we've got a hotel up here. Uh, we've got another shop here, but this one's under construction. If you guys have any ideas, comment below with another type of post-apocalyptic shop. Or it could be some other type of store. It doesn't have to be a shop necessarily. It could be a restaurant or something. Uh, so we have that right here, ready to be built. Uh, this actually gives you a little bit of a decent view of the little area here. And one thing I do want to point out, somebody said they wanted to see more open spots in the bottom like this. So you can see off into the post-apocalyptic wasteland, which you can see it all flooded down there. And I actually think it gives you a pretty good perspective of how high up we are in the base. So, we've got the Roach Motel here, or Hotel. This is a hotel. Uh, this is pretty cool. This was a suggestion by somebody, and I figured this would fit in the marketplace here, so we can walk in. Uh, let's flick on the lights here. There we go. Not much light. I normally do the white lights because it lets off a lot brighter light, but we're going to go with the orange lights here because it kind of makes it a little bit more gloomy, but kind of gives it also a warm feel. So yeah, here's the front desk of the hotel. Uh, there's not much to look at in here. There's only two rooms. Of course, uh, I would say I probably could have built it bigger, maybe gone back further, but honestly, I didn't want to waste too much space up here just on a hotel because all the rooms are basically going to be the same. So yeah, you can come back here, uh, check in. Uh, you've got two rooms, so this would be an easy job. As soon as you're into two, two rooms, you can just go away. So let's go ahead and walk up here. Pop these doors open. Uh, the rooms are very basic. It's the post-apocalyptic wasteland. About the only thing you need is a bed and maybe a little drawer or something to uh, put some of your gear in. Of course, uh, some of these might have some sort of computer terminals. I don't know how advanced I want to go with this base. I don't know if we're going to do a bunch of computer stuff. I mean, it is already pretty advanced in the first place, considering it is a sky base and we are making it hover. But I'm still debating on that, so... Let's go ahead and check this room out over here. This is a pretty cool little room. This one's actually got a nice window. It's kind of barred up, but you can somewhat see the marketplace from here. So, we got that. Uh, each room does have a, a nice light. I know that's kind of an odd feature. If you were to look at the maybe the manual for the hotel, it's like, hey, this room's got lights. So yeah, we got that. Let's off a nice glow in here. Let's go ahead and turn that off there. There we go. And we're going to turn this light off here. Now, I'm not going to put doors on every business here. For anybody that's played Scrap Mechanic knows that a lot of bearings in a build will lag it or make it start to lag a lot quicker. So uh, the reason you see some of these stores or shops open like this is because it's just going to be a, an unnecessary door to me. So uh, I'm going to kind of lay off that a bit. All right, so that's a pretty good little rundown of the marketplace or at least what I have built so far. Like I said, if you guys have suggestions, let me know. Uh, over here, this is going to be one of the exits to the marketplace, and you can see I've already done something over here. Uh, this is a viewer creation or viewer submission. We'll go over this here in a second. I just need it somewhere to mount this. 
So this area right here is not final. So let's go ahead and go down to the sides here. Now these sides are these little doors that you see that are open are completely identical on each side. This is something that you, the viewers, actually wanted to see. I talked about it a little bit in the last episode about having some sort of thruster clusters uh, to support the sky base. Of course, the sky base is not actually hovering like many of you guys know, but I wanted to give it the look that it was actually hovering off the ground. But I have a very cool or very awesome friend of mine named Non-Newtonian. You might have heard the name before if you're on the Discord. You see him around. And he went above and beyond when it came to making this base look like it's hovering. He built these little uh, modules here, which I've got another one welded to the other side. And I'll probably do two more uh, once we go back further. That way you have them on each corner. But yeah, uh, this is a big turbine. And you can see the blade down there. It actually looks really cool. Uh, we're going to start this up. I believe I remember how to do this. You got to enter the code in first. You get to, oh, there's so many buttons here. Maybe hit this one. Oh, there we go. And I believe this might be a shut off here. So we would start all the turbines. You have, you have to actually start all four of them here. That's to be kind of neat if you're role playing, if you had somebody up here kind of working infrastructure for the base. It is a bit dangerous though, the whole fact that there's no railings up here, but who said the sky base was actually going to be safe? So we're going to fire these up. I'm kind of curious if I get all of these going and leave them on, is it gonna lag? I don't think it's going to, but it would be nice to be able to leave these on like always. That way it does give the effect that the sky base is hovering in the air. So I bet you that actually looks pretty cool from the ground. Uh, we'll keep this little module activated and we might go activate the other one. Uh, but I do want to definitely thank Mr. Non-Newtonian for sending this over. This is absolutely awesome. It's a really just fitting addition to the base. Okay, Mr. Non-Newtonian didn't stop there. He's a madman. He built one more thing and you caught a glimpse of it earlier. Uh, we've got something over here that I know I'm going to implement at some point. I'm not sure where. I need some dedicated defense systems for the base. Uh, we've got the guns that are on the main gate in front of the drawbridge, which is really good to fend off people that manage to get up to that level. But we haven't really thought about ground attacks. Now, we also have to deal with air attacks, but we'll deal with that a little bit later but ground attacks as far as if there's raiders coming towards the base and they're going to try to get up uh we've got a turret here and this is actually really cool and this is meant to be welded like this probably would be surrounded by some sort of shell around it i've kind of got it temporarily welded here but what you do we're going to hop into here it's a little tricky to get into i didn't it didn't help where i welded it but let's do that let's close the door now, this would be up like this, but if you're, if you're getting attacked from below, which this could also possibly be an air turret too, I'm not 100% sure, but say you're getting attacked from below, you hit the 2 key here. And sometimes this is a little tricky, it takes a second. But this thing will actually go down with the piston, just give it a moment here. There we go. Alright, as you can see, the turret is down. It's actually, it rotates fully. And if you hit the W and S key, uh, I believe it's the W S, there we go. You see the guns fold out, and this is really cool. And if you hit the one key here, uh, you get a little bit of firing action. So yeah, you can be, oh, this is a, camera's a little weird. Let's see, what happens when we're in here? Okay, you really can't see out of this from here. I need to probably build a platform that we can actually swivel the camera around a bit, because you can see it zoom in to the actual turret every once in a while. But yeah, you can fire it from up here. Uh, you can swing it fully around. I wish it would quit doing it. Actually, let's do it from down here. This actually works. Yeah, it's got full 360 degrees of control, and that's absolutely awesome. And it's also got an overheat feature. If you saw, or you can see the red glow there, I was firing for too long, and it, it's overheating, and it's going to need to reset itself. So we can go here, and you can see it lighting up, and you see the red filling up. And this is awesome. I'm, I'm not a logic guy, so I, I have to thank Non-Newtonian for doing something like this because I probably would have had just a really basic gun. It would have looked good. I'm, I'm really pretty good at aesthetics, but the uh, logic part I'm a little lost on. But yeah, that's uh, really cool. And I know we are going to implement a couple of these into the base. So we can just uh, fold this back up here. There we go. Looking good. There we go. And let's go ahead and get this to where we can hop out easy. Uh, I think we're going to hit the two key. It's going to lift us back up. 
Uh, we're gonna hop out, uh, hit the, uh oh, might be stuck, there it goes. And then I had to put a seat back here to get out, or a toilet. But yeah, we'll be adding some more of those, uh, probably to the front somewhere, probably to the rear. Uh, there's a lot of land to cover, of course, because we are in the middle of nowheres. So anyways, that's it for the base up here. We're going to go check out a couple viewer creations uh, for the sky base. So if you guys have any su suggestions for any of these that you're about to see, let me know. And we might implement some of these into the base. We just kind of have to figure out where we're going to put them. So I'm going to get down to the floor and we're going to check these out. That looks cool. You can actually see the... Uh, the lift mechanism working up there you can see it's spinning up so i really do think we can actually keep those on that really adds a lot to it and does give it a little bit of the appearance of it kind of floating somewhat but anyways we've got some viewer creations i don't know what that is or where that came from let's go ahead and delete that uh sometimes when you're building up there you get random stuff like you drop stuff all the time including yourself and that just was a part i guess i dropped but anyways Let's go ahead and check out some of the other creations we have here. And a lot of these are through the Discord. I think one of these was actually through my email. It's this thing here. This is actually a small apocalyptic raft. This is by Mr. Dragon. This is a small raft that might be used for an apocalyptic world. When most people think of apocalypse, nuclear fallout might be one of the first things that comes to mind. So if a few other thoughts may appear, but one could be flooding. And that's kind of what our situation is here. So this is like a small little raft house. And uh, me and Mr. Wiz were talking about this a little bit. Sky City might be a little bit more for the people that can actually afford to go up here. But sometimes you're going to have people down here. It's the wasteland. It's a really harsh environment. And some people are going to choose to actually live down here. So we've got this water. Of course, this water is fake, but it actually looks pretty cool. But we're going to stick this raft over here and check this thing out. It looks pretty awesome. Oh, I like the little effect. You got the uh, the free bearing. Have the sign there. Uh, let's get our out our connection tool and check this out. Oh, well, there's not much here. So uh, looks like this is your basic raft. Oh, they're using the new shark. This was built recent. You got a nice little light in here. You've got. I'm assuming this is either for food or for some sort of a. Uh, is this moving us? No. This has got to be for some sort of food or heat. So you got a little thruster built in. This is just a, a really basic little raft. It's cool because aesthetically it's really pleasing to look at. Uh, if we were to stick it right about there. You know, we probably could put a um, an invisible block and maybe weld this down and just have this on the shore. Like right here in front of the sky base. I actually think that looks really cool right there. So definitely cool. It would be really awesome to maybe get this thing to function. Maybe you can get it to hover kind of low. I know it'd be uh, kind of a pain because it seems like smaller objects are a little harder to make hover really stable but definitely want to thank Mr. Dragon for sending that over I believe we will be using this somewhere on the shore I'll probably just weld it down so uh, thank you for sending that over okay next creation now I was sent a lot of guns and I'm probably not going to get to cover all of them here today uh, I do have this steampunk rail gun and this was made by a discord member called blue flame and I have a feeling this thing's actually quite big this could be the main gun Oh my, that's actually really awesome looking. Okay, oh, oh, yeah, this bugger looks like it needs to be welded down. Um, we're gonna risk it. We're gonna let it off the lift here and see what happens. Oh, oh, this is cool. Okay, this could definitely be like the centralized gun. This could be like the big weapon for the base. It looks so awesome. Look how it's lit up there. That is sweet looking. You got the coils here on the back. You got the lights flickering. This is awesome. This is actually really impressive. Now, this looks like it runs on a little table here. And probably got 360 degrees of rotation with the thrusters here. You've got these front mounted thrusters, I guess, to pick the gun up. That's uh, kind of cool. It's got it... Oh, this is all metal down here. So this is actually a fairly heavy gun. Uh, do we want to set this down on something? You know, I want to weld this down real quick. That way we can really appreciate how it works. I don't think I'm going to do it justice here by just trying to work this on the ground. So let me weld this down real quick and we'll try it out. Okay, so we have this welded down. It's probably not in the best position, uh, but like I said, we're going to need to build a big platform up there. If we're going to stick this gun up there, which I'm pretty sure we are going to because this is really cool. So how does this work? I'm pretty sure there was instructions on here. I like kind of trying to figure out how these things work 
by myself, but this one might be one of those that I need to look at real quick. Let's see. I don't think there's much written about it. No. There's a lot of seats on it, so one of these seats is bound to have all the connections running into it. There's something up there. Uh, is that a, that is a seat. Okay, let's see. Let's go up here. Oh, that's so cool. Got like a little cockpit down here. So, oh yeah, just as I thought. Okay, it's going to be, I'm assuming WASD. You've got the W and D will turn it. Uh, does the, okay, W actually, no, it's A and D turn it. W lifts it up. That's so sweet. It's kind of awesome seeing all the different, like, methods to get this thing up. Obviously, the piston wouldn't be strong enough, so he's got the assistance of the uh, thrusters on the front. Okay, time to start hitting some keys here. I'm kind of curious as to what this does. So, two's not connected. Three's not connected. Four? No? Five? These buttons don't seem to be connected. This might... I think he said this is just something that is visual. It's like not an actual firing gun. We could probably modify this just a bit to at least make it blip or something. Maybe some thrusters out the front to make it look like it's firing. So it looks like it's purely a cosmetic build, but this is still going to get used in the base because this looks too fantastic not to use. Now let me uh, double check that one more time. Yeah, he's got the switches. Yeah, obviously you can see these aren't actually hooked up. So most of this is down, done down here. And actually look at the logic cluster down here. That's impressive. I noticed this thing actually keeps itself propped up. So we aimed up. Is it slowly falling down? No, it isn't actually. Yeah, this will work perfect. We can angle this up there. We're just going to need a big 360 degree platform we can use this with. But yeah, I definitely want to thank Mr. Blue Flame for sending that over. We will be using this in the base very, very soon. All right, I've got two more things we're going to check out here today. Now, if you didn't get your creation shown here today, it does not mean that I'm not going to show it. I've got to get around. Uh, I'm running a little bit out of time here to go through all of these. So we've got two more we're going to check out. We've got the Sky Base Monster by Mr. Quadizimo, if you've heard of him before. He's sent some stuff over. He's really active in, I think, all of the uh, the discords that I'm a part of, like Scrapmans, Cons, uh, Moombos. So, let's spawn this. I don't know what this quite is. It's a sea monster. What does a sea monster do? It's got a lot of loose bearings on it. It kind of looks like a mechanical monster. Ooh. Ooh. It's just kind of creepy looking. Okay, let's let's hit the switch. Oh. I don't like that. <laughs> when I say I don't like it, I just don't like the way it looks. It's just kind of creepy. I mean, it is a sea monster. It's like a mechanical monster. It's like something horrible went wrong. Maybe this is the cause of the apocalypse. Something like this. That's actually cool. It's got a little walker on it. It's I like all the loose uh, bearings that he's got on there. So you've got all these little tentacles and stuff kind of flopping around. And whatever that is on the top, maybe it's one of those little uh, lures. I forget what the, the fish's name is. You see them a lot of times in the really deep waters. Uh, they use a little light on top of their head to attract prey. And that's kind of what this reminds me of. Now that's actually cool. I like the way it walks. It kind of has a creepy walk. It's got a really extended walk. Almost a bit like a praying mantis. Uh, that's kind of what this reminds me of. That's cool. I like that. That could be something that would be kind of neat if you could leave it down here and it would actually just walk around the whole time. You can kind of find it at a later point. Uh, that might actually look pretty cool underwater. Let's go ahead and let's go to the water real quick and we're going to shove it under there. There it goes. <laughs> That looks pretty cool. It looks like it's just kind of lurking around the water. So yeah, uh, maybe we'll have some beasts like this. Maybe they don't have to all be like actual living beasts. It could be some sort of mechanical type takeover. Kind of like the farm bot apocalypse that I always talk about. That seems to confuse some people when I say... A lot of people are like, well, what are farm bots? Uh, that's just something that is the enemy that's going to be in scrap mechanic survival mode. Which I hope comes out very soon. Uh, I want to build like a base like this for survival mode. I feel like that would be really cool. So anyways, I want to thank Mr. Quadizimo for sending that over. And we're going to check out one more creation here. Alright, we are to our last creation here. Now, like I said, we will be checking out some more of these very soon in the next episode. So keep sending them in through the Discord and my email. Now, this, I know what it is. And anybody that's a Scrap Mechanic fan, uh, if you've seen Brent Batch's flyers, if you've seen him in his videos... A lot of people use them in their videos to get around. Uh, basically, the Brent Batch Flyer is this top part here. Now, normally, I don't typically look at something that looks like it's been somewhat modified. I'm almost 100% sure that's the base of it right there. But this has kind of like an apocalyptic steampunk feel to it. 
you've got these little uh, rails here on the bottom. Let's pop this out. Uh, it's got the shocks and it's got the little propellers. Now I was talking earlier uh, where the sky dock is like this is almost the perfect fit for it. Uh, these are really just useful flyers. They fly very, very easy. Uh, it's some sort of glitch stabilizer. I do not want to fly up in the blades. Oh, now this actually gives you a pretty cool view of the sky base. Oh, that's oh, hold on. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, that is awesome looking. All right, so let's see if we can maneuver this. This thing might be a bit too fast to get up and down. I do like how he's modified it to where when you hit the W key, the little propellers kind of activate and oh, nailed it. I mean, that wasn't that close. Does this thing still skid? Uh, one thing that you lose with these uh, these railings here at the bottom is the ability. This thing used to be able to skid along the ground. It seems like those, it still can somewhat do it, but it seems like those rails are kind of hindering its ability. So this is just one of the types of vehicles that I look forward to seeing. I am going to create a couple stuff or a couple things like this, but this is like a little small personal vehicle. Uh, we will be adding some bigger vehicles to the sky base at some point. But I do want to thank Mr. Luke Babs for sending that over. Uh, like I said, also credit goes out to uh, the OG of this, or at least this design, uh, Mr. Brent Batch, for creating this. This is still one of my favorite flyers to uh, traverse the map in. So... Anyways, that's going to about wrap it up for today's episode. We will be doing some more Sky Base here very soon. It just takes me a while to get these episodes out. Uh, I know some people are like, hey, uh, you know, when are you going to do the next Sky Base? Or uh, why aren't you doing enough or more scrap mechanic? And I know a lot of people sometimes see that I do quite a bit more Brick Rigs now. Uh, Brick Rigs is just an easy thing to record so I can constantly have content for you guys. Uh, that way, in between, I can do work on stuff like this. So I do feel like we've got quite a bit done here today. We will have another addition for the sky base here very soon. So if you have any suggestions, comment below. I want to see some new sections, some new ideas. Uh, like I said, the Discord is open for anybody that wants to join in. And uh, if you want to talk to me a little bit over there and do some suggestions, a lot of times I can answer faster over there than I do in the YouTube comments section. But anyways, folks, thank you guys for all the support on the Skybase series. Thank you guys for the support on the channel, Scrap Mechanic, everything. You guys are absolutely awesome. So I look forward to doing some more of this very soon. But anyways, folks, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.